Hey guys, it's Lauren from It's the Kellys, and this morning it's a beautiful early Monday morning and I'm going to pack for my Norway trip because I leave in a couple of days. And of course I work every day going up to my trip, so I really need to pack whenever it's convenient, which happens to be this morning. So I'm in my pajamas, I haven't done my hair or makeup, I literally woke up like this. I'm trying to drink my chai tea latte. I'm feeling kind of sick right now. I've had a horrible cold for a couple of weeks. It's not COVID, but here I am and I need to pack. So a few weeks ago, you guys know that I posted my winter travel essentials from Amazon. So today I'm obviously going to be packing those, which you guys have already seen. So I'm not really gonna go over what's in that packing queue. But my main thing that I wanna show you today is what luggage I'm using, what personal item I'm using, and what is in my capsule wardrobe to make me be able to pack light for this trip. A lot of people think it's a cold weather trip, so you need to overpack. I saw in a girl's travel forum the other day, he needs seven thermals and seven sweaters and seven shirts and seven pairs of pants and da da da. No, you don't. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna kind of show you everything that I'm packing and why I'm doing it, it just makes so much sense. So on this trip, I'm gonna be on four different airlines, which means four different bag requirements. So what I'm going to do is go with the smallest bag requirement and bring the bag that works best with those measurements. Most of these are European airlines, so they're going to be a little bit more stingy. So I'm going to be bringing my level eight textured luggage that I reviewed a little bit ago. If you guys haven't checked out that review, check it up here. I'm so excited to travel with it. I still have a really beautiful 10% off code on this luggage if you guys are interested in buying it for yourself and you can get 10% off. I'm so excited to travel with it. When it comes to a personal item, it needs to be 40 centimeters by 30 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So I'm going to be bringing my base backpack, which is my OG personal item. I really only travel with this as a personal item because I like to have my personal item either strapped to my luggage with this little trolley through here, or I like to have it on my back even weight distribution so I'm not bringing anything like the mini weekender I think that's just a little bit too big for European travel so first let's consult with my packing list a little bit as you guys can see here I have clothes accessories electronics toiletries a plain bag and important everything is in bold right now because that means that it is in this room and ready to be packed. And you can see these starred items right here. I have one star for everything that's going into a liquids bag. And then you can see over here in the accessories, this is all of my winter gear stuff that is going into one packing cube. So not only does this list help me organize every single thing that I need, but then it shows me which bag I'm going to put all of those things in. Okay. So now it's time to talk about capsule wardrobe. If you guys don't know what a capsule wardrobe is, it is a small amount of items. Every single top matches every single bottom, and therefore you can mix and match everything to make different outfits. You look different every day, but really you've only packed, you know, seven or eight or nine items. And that is so important when it comes to a trip. I always suggest having a color scheme and everything should really fit into one medium sized packing cube. And that's exactly what I'm going to do on this trip. My most important thing is that I'm bringing Merino wool. I am going to be re-wearing these items a lot. And Merino wool is amazing for that because I can wear this shirt every single day of the trip and it's going to be fresh, it is not going to smell, and it does not need to be laundered. So let's go over everything that I have here. This is my merino wool short sleeve shirt. This is my merino wool shirt that is long sleeve. 
I'm bringing one other long sleeve that is not merino wool, but it's just kind of my favorite cozy long sleeve shirt. I also have this really nice comfortable from Athleta. Athleta? Athleta? Um, it, oh, it's just so soft, but it's just a nice long sleeve kind of off the shoulder shirt. This I'm actually going to wear on the plane, so I'm going to keep this out. As for pants, I did feature these in my cold weather video, but these are my kind of waterproof, and I'm kind of calling them my travel pants. These are kind of my all weather pants. These I will be wearing. They are waterproof and windproof, and I will be wearing these when I do my Northern Lights trips overnight with my thermals underneath. I also have my wool and leggings, which again, no odor, no need to be laundered with leggings. That is so important. I absolutely love that. And these I will be wearing on the plane as well. Um, I'm also bringing this alpaca sweater from Paca, and the whole thing is only 10 ounces. And it's just supposed to keep me very, 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 very warm. Besides these items, I have one pair of pajamas and one bathing suit because I will be going swimming in the really, really cold water. Help me, please. I've never done a polar plunge before. So all of this stuff is going to fit into one packing cube. Let's pack it. Done. So I did end up swapping out my plain outfit because when I went to pack this, I realized just how big it is. So this I'm going to wear on the plane instead. And I don't really want this fabric like right up against my body. So I will be wearing a short sleeve underneath it. I get really, really hot when I travel. I'm really, really hot right now as I'm filming. I do usually board a plane in like a tank top or a t-shirt. Always pack layers. This is my packing cube that I put all of my winter gear in. You guys can see that they are the same size clothes and winter gear. Now I love using packing cubes because it's really going to make all the space a little bit less, and most importantly, organize it. I'm not gonna necessarily need this winter gear every single day of my trip, so I love that it is organized and contained, and that anytime I need something from my winter gear, I can just go into the blue packing cube, and that's where it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to put everything into my level eight textured carry-on. I have the two packing cubes, right? So of course I could put them in top and bottom on each side, but I like the heaviest items to go in the bottom of each side so that when I'm rolling it upright, all the weight is at the bottom. So the other items that I am bringing in my carry-on are my waterproof shoes, my purse to go around the city and everything with. I need to pack my flat iron, which I will be doing a video about hair care on the road while I am there. I'm packing my toiletries bag, which does not include my liquids. My liquids will be in my personal item. I have a little umbrella, which I still might not bring because everything I have is waterproof. This is my packable backpack for when I go on hikes and day trips. And then I have my thermos so that I can have my really hot coffee. So really what I wanna do is actually get a shower cap to put these in so that if they get dirty, they're not going to dirty up my luggage. However, I don't have one of those yet. I'm probably just gonna steal one from work today because I'm a hairstylist and I can get them there. So those are gonna go, I'm gonna put them probably right in here and I'm gonna put them flat. And that's where I'm also going to put my thermos, my flat iron, and then I can still fit my umbrella there too. And then this whole side is done. I am gonna eventually put my undergarments in these little areas here. This I can actually pack right on the bottom here. And then I have the backpack which can fit in my toiletries. And there you have it. I'm packed for Norway. I have my capsule wardrobe. I have everything that I need. Look at how effortlessly this zips. 
So I'm not going to show you guys everything that I'm packing in my plane bag right now. I know I showed you guys my packing list. I think on this trip I want to do a ton of videos that are what's in my toiletries bag, what is in my plane bag, what is in, you know, all of these other little things. And let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to show. I'm so excited for this trip. I'm so excited for the Northern Lights. I think that that is on everybody's bucket list, right? We can all agree the Northern Lights are something that you might freeze your butt off, but are going to be very, very, very cool to see. All right, so I'm so excited to take you guys on this trip with me. Comment down below if you have any questions or comments or just want to say hi. I love hearing from you. I answer every single comment that I get if I can, and you guys really brighten my day when you make comments. I love it so much, and I feel like I'm getting to know a lot of you because you comment on a lot of different videos, and that makes me really happy. I'll see you guys in Norway. Bye.